Hi, I'm Lori Hernandez. Welcome back to Cirque It Out, direct from Cirque du Soleil in Las Vegas. Today, we're circling it out at O, one of Cirque's most celebrated shows. If you haven't seen O yet, you definitely should. The stage itself is amazing and so unique. The stage transforms into a pool for aquatic performances. You have to see it to believe it. Ready to work out the Cirque way? Let's Cirque It Out. A huge part of the Cirque du Soleil show O oh, takes place in the water. Some of the performers in the show have backgrounds in competitive aquatic sports, like the artist who inspired today's workout, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Hey. <laughs> Michelle is a world-class synchronized swimmer. She is going to be put through the paces by performance conditioning specialist, Leland Barker. What's up? What's up, dude? <laughs> Synchronized swimming requires a unique set of athletic skills. Keeping those skills sharp is the basis of today's workout. Let's circuit it out. The synchronized swimmers at O spend a lot of time sculling and egg beating, in addition to the obvious one, swimming. This workout will focus on strength and mobility, followed by conditioning. We are targeting the hamstrings, glutes, and adductors with proper lumbo-pelvic rhythms to develop strength and mobility for the egg beater. We are targeting upward and downward scapular rotators with proper scapular humeral rhythms to support demands for swimming and sculling. We'll finish our strength work with push-pulls, an exercise I use to train the internal and external obliques for rotational strength through the spine. And for conditioning, the sled push will target the lower extremity. So you ready to work out? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. So the first exercise is the split cable RDL. Michelle's gonna grab the ropes at a low position and she's gonna keep a maintainer posture. And essentially we're targeting the adductors, the inner thighs, which is important for egg beating in synchronized swimming. We're here, we're looking for light weights. Um, it's kind of a gentle stretch. Too far of a split is not going to work. We need the legs to be kind of at a 45 degree angle. We'll do a couple more here. I'm looking for her hips to kind of drive forward and basically get her a good stretch in the adductors. Nice job, Michelle. This is our first exercise, it's a primary strength exercise of trap bar deadlift. We're gonna do three sets of five today, so go ahead. And we'll talk about some of the main points I'm looking for. The major one, keep your back straight. I'm always looking for people to keep a good posture. Michelle does a great job. And then I'm looking for them to drive their hips forward early in the movement and really move up as quickly as they can. Nice, Michelle. Well done. This exercise is the goblet squat. It's a basic squat movement, and we use it in our warm-up. And so I'm gonna have you do a set of 10, okay? So in this exercise, they're holding the kettlebell close to the chest. It's out in front. It allows them to get a good stretch in their hips, ankles, and uh, generally an, an easy way to teach people the squatting movement. Here again, I'm looking for a good posture. Um, looking for them to find a position where their knees are pointing in the direction that their toes are pointing. Last one here. Nice, Michelle. So now we're gonna move into our upper body exercises. This is the cable pullover. I'm gonna have Michelle do two sets of 10. This exercise I find especially useful for swimmers. And what I'm looking for is for her to keep her abs tight and allow her lats to stretch as the cable goes up. This is gonna be a good exercise to target your lats, the long head of the triceps, um, and basically the major muscles that are used for swimming. Michelle's doing a nice job here. I'm looking for her to stretch it out, so let that stretch out with the lats, and then we're pulling the cable towards our hips. A lot of times, some people will start bending their elbow, and we wanna keep the elbows pretty locked out in this exercise. Nice job, Michelle. 
Here's the curl and press. Uh, we're gonna do a couple variations of this through the set. So I'm gonna have you do a set of 10. She's gonna do two of them strict. So we're just getting a curl and then a press. I'm trying to look for an upward rotation of the scapula here. And now she's gonna do a couple with her body. This is a way for me to add some explosiveness to the movement and allow people to learn good technique to get the weight overhead. Nice, and we'll do one more. Nice, Michelle. Lori's gonna join us for this last exercise. This is one of my favorite ones called the push pull. You guys are gonna do a set of 10, okay? The cue for this one I, I give is keep your belly button pointing forward, allow your rib cage to spin. It's gonna allow us to train the internal and external obliques for a pretty high level of strength. You can put these weights pretty high. I'm looking for a good posture and just make sure to do both sides. Nice job, you two. Well done. I'm already sore. <laughs>this is our dreaded sled push and drag we use for conditioning. So Michelle's gonna push this down, back, down and back. We're shooting here for about 20 seconds of work and then I allow full recovery. There's plenty of time combinations you can do, uh, but we're looking to get a good lower extremity burn. So we're looking for the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, the calves. They'll all be feeling it at the end of this. Nice job, Michelle. Another alternative is if you have carpet, um, you can grab a piece of cardboard and you can kind of push it along the floor. That's another way to provide some horizontal resistance. So at the end of the workout, it's good to cool down, slow down, get ready for the show. We like to use some foam rolling and... We... Sorry Lee, I gotta go, it's showtime. <laughs> we'll see you next time, we hope you enjoyed it. Let's circuit it out. That was quite a workout. We hope you try it again, and we hope that it helps you to be the best that you can be. Don't forget to get active with Cirque du Soleil on our next episode. We hope you enjoyed this video. Like it, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. Have a look over here to see what video you want to work out to next. And as always, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all the great content we publish week after week. We at Cirque du Soleil are here to flip your everyday reality the Cirque way, where everyone, every day, is extraordinary. <laughs>